Alrighty guys, what is going on everybody? Welcome back once again to another episode by Fishing South Jersey. Now I'm a local lake today and I am going to be doing some fishing today. You gotta tell, I'm in short sleeve shirts because right now the high, I guess it's close to 70. I mean it's pretty warm. I kind of feel like my neck is getting burned a little bit. Really, really good. I mean it's super warm. There's bugs around, there's turtles, there's fish to be caught. I mean spring is in the air. Um, so I'm not here on my local lake today and I'm going to be doing some fishing, but it's not going to be any normal video. Um, today's video, guys, is being sponsored by a company I've worked with in the past. You guys remember the Florida trip? Um, this company in particular, they very supportive during the trip. Sent me some products to review. And, I mean, the relationship has gone really good so far. And today, um, they sent me some more stuff to review. And that company is Placino Fishing. Um, they've been very supportive of me in the past and are here helping out the channel again, sending me more free stuff to review for you guys. So today, I got two lure kits that they sent me. Um, I apologize if I'm drifting around. I tried to get as close to the bank as I could, but it's kind of windy today, so let me just back the boat up. Alright, that's better. Um, they sent me two lure kits to review today, and that's all I got with me on the boat today. I'm just going to be fishing with these lure kits and see, are they worth your money? Are they worth your time? They're right here sitting next to me. Granted, I've already unboxed them. I've already seen what's inside of them. Um, for the one lure kit, it's actually probably my personal favorite. You got jerk baits, big swim baits, some jig heads, some spinners, and some swim baits in there as well. Really great lure kit. Um, it's definitely good, especially that jerk bait, man. It's gonna put in some work today. Know that for sure. And second lure kit is I'll show it to you guys it is an entire assortment I think it's like a 12 piece kit an entire assortment of spinners you guys do not know I am a absolute huge fan of spinners in my opinion they're one of the best multi-species lures out there catch everything out there so yeah um, just want to thank real quick Placino for sponsoring this video again um, appreciate the support and if it weren't for them, and I wouldn't be able to do reviews for you guys. So, it's in this way that I can like review products and I can tell you guys, you know, is it good? Because like you'll see stuff online, you'll be like, yeah, that looks fishy, you know, I don't know if I want to buy that. Um, but for sure, I'm going to be reviewing these products today. I'm going to be fishing with all of them, trying to catch a fish on each, each bait. Um, got about three or four hours of fish. It's a Saturday. Um, it's warm. It's nice out. So, with that, let's see if we catch some fish. Bait. So this is what I got rigged up guys. I have swim bait, spinner, and one of the jerk baits. Let's start with the jerk bait because that's probably one of my favorites. Oh, I'm just cast right into a tree. That, that's fantastic. Is this floating? Tell you what, it looks good though. Alrighty, new spot. To try out this inline spinner. Let me see Get the action on this thing. Oh, yeah, this should work. So far, so good. Shiny, flashy, exactly what you want in a spinner, man. I could do some damage with this. As you guys can see, I'm retrieving this. Spinner pretty slow. Water's still in the mid 50s, mid high 50s. It's not exactly warm enough where I could retrieve this normal speed. And so, spinners are really effective baits in the winter. You just gotta work them really slow. Really slow. A lot more life on this lake than the last time I was out here. There's a bunch of turtles I see popping their heads out. There's some vegetation that's starting to pop up out of the water. Spring is definitely in the air. Oh. 
Oh, I had a fish follow it all the way in. I don't know if I caught that on camera. There's a picker following it all the way in. That's a good sign. Fishing a fairly new setup here. It's my Pistol Fun Venom. You guys have seen this reel a couple times me using it. And the rod's brand new. This is a 13 Fishing Fake Chrome. I think I hit, got hit there. Um, it's a 610 medium white. And I'm running 10 pound braid on here. Oh, there's a fish right there. Falling all the way in. I'm getting followers. That's the second follow I've had. Oh. Oh. Oh, dang it. <laughs> you know, fish tailed it all the way in, then he hit it. That was sick. I don't know if I got that on camera or not. Another first hit on the jerk bait. Alrighty guys, midlife update for you. I don't know, that was a hitter. No, it's grass. Okay. Um had two hits on the jerk bait, three on the spinner. I've not tried the swim bait yet. But so far so good. The lures are getting a lot of action. And they're getting hits, they're getting follows, they're getting they're getting the fish's attention. The one area though that I'm not really happy with is the hookup ratio. I've had like five bites, hooked zero fish. So, that's resolved, man. This is a great bait. Uh, maybe like the fish aren't committing to it. They're like, they're, they're just like, eh, about it. They're, they're not 100%, 100% committed to eating. I don't know. Oh, got a fish on it. Oh, he's still right there. Oh, yo. He was small. Let's see, he comes back for it. He was a tiny guy. He was a little dude. I'm not too mad about losing him. There's a fish. Got him. I have no idea how big he is. Fighter. On that jerk bait. Well, finally hooked into one. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh, look at this pickerel, guys. Jeez, man, he is not doing too well. He's got a huge bite mark in him. That might be from like a snapping turtle or something. Hooked right in that wound. There you go, guys. First fish on the jerk bait from the lure kit. Little dinky picker, but I'll take him. First fish of the day. Hit it right at the boat. And there he goes. So one thing I don't like about those fish is how slimy they are. I mean, look at my hands. That's disgusting. Alrighty guys. Back at it, back at it. So this is how I'm fishing this jerk bait. The water is not exactly warm, not exactly cold either. It's about mid to high 50s. So I'm fishing this jerk bait pretty quickly. I mean, I'm giving maybe two, three second pauses. And I'm doing 
two time jerks, maybe one time I'll do a one time jerk, maybe I'll do a three time jerk. Just altering the retrieve pattern, trying to grab some attention. I mean, the water, I don't know if the GoPro can catch it. I mean, water is ultra clear. So, yeah, I'm on a little hump right now. It's about like two feet right here. That doesn't matter. This lake's pretty shallow in general. That's just what I'm doing. There's fish scattered throughout here. Probably staging the spawn. One thing I love to catch, because they're not as common here, love to catch a bass. Oh, I don't know if that was a hit or that was grass. Yeah, you, let me show you guys here the action on this bait. You guys can see, it's got a very erratic action, and it's a very good suspending jerk bait. Unlike most like jerk baits that they'll actually retrieve, this one really doesn't have all that great of a retrieve. It just sort of sits there in the water. Um, but you know what? For the price, I don't know exactly what this lure retails for, but probably between five and ten bucks in that lure kit. I mean, you get a bunch of stuff, all for probably like 10 bucks or whatever. I'd imagine to say it's worth the money. I mean, you guys saw a catch this fish. There we go. It's a fish. Yep, this is a fish. Oh, this may be a good fish. Not just pickerel. How does he side hook like that? All right, well, it's a fish. <laughs> Where I was moving the boat. Second fish on that jerk bait. Guess he swiped at it. There he goes. And the setup guys that I'm using for this jerk bait, the 6'6 medium moderate Abu Garcia Vengeance rod. It's not the new, I think it's it's not the newest generation, it's an older rod. And the reel is an Abu Garcia Black Max. And it's a 6 4 1 gear ratio. And I have 10 pound floral on here. Perfect jerk bait setup. Because it's like with this rod, I mean, you got a lot of parabolic action. Great for the strike bait. And if you want to even downsize your presentation even, even more, you could go with eight. That'd be really finesse though. I mean, I want that 10 pound just in case I hook into a bass because there's a very like likely chance I could hook into a bass in this lake. I mean, they're not very common on this lake. Like for every two bass that you catch, you probably catch like 10 pickerel. But like, there's always a chance. So I always like to have a little bit heavier line just in case. Well, whatever. That's interesting. There we go. It's coming right at me. Picker on that trick bait. Oh, nope, 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 nope. You calm down, buddy. All right, third fish of the day. Dinky picker on that jerk bait again. Take him though. He wasn't very big though, so. Unlike last time I was on this, like, they're not eating as enthusiastically. Like, they're sort of like, eh, I don't really feel like eating today. Or, you know, this doesn't really look that good. Get in love, though. Yup. Mm. 
A little better fish. Definitely a better fish. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Well, look at those teeth, man. That's a sick, sick looking fish. Those of you guys who are like, well, why do you target pickerel, man? They're like junk fish and stuff. I think they're extremely underrated. I mean, they are cool looking fish. They eat nice, bite good. You're releasing this guy. Good though. Oh, there's a fish. I'm there. He hit it and I thought he got enough. Eh, he's a pretty good one. I'm gonna pliers. Fish number five right there. Either, I'm not sure if it's six. And there goes some very pissed off piece. But, a little fish. He's ready to go. Ready to go. Alrighty. As much as I love that thing, I put it down. I've caught plenty of fish on this thing. Overall, great jerk bait. You guys can see it's got some teeth marks on now on it from those pickerel. Paint job held up pretty well. Great bait. Nice, nice jerk bait. Let's try this spinner. If I can figure out what happened to it. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that. Look how clear that water is. Look at that big old, big old turtle. He doesn't want anything to do with me. Which is fine. I don't want anything to do with him either. Oh, I'm still yet to land. Nope. I just spoke too soon. That's a fish. He's on. He's just running at me. It's pickle. There you go. Oh, came off. Just like that. There you go, guys. Fish on the spinner. It's proof they work. Let me try to catch a couple more on the spinner, and we'll switch up to another lure. Dart it right off. Oh yeah. This fish is pulling drag. Is this? this is a bass? No, it's a pickerel. Alright. Second fish on that spinner. Another pickerel. Look how you choke that, man. Oh, sorry, buddy. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get pliers. Second fish on that spinner. I don't know what number it is total, but... Average size pickerel. There he goes. All right. I know this bait does work really well, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it down for now. Uh, may come back to it later. I want to try the swim bait. So I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna take the jerk bait off. Fantastic lures. So far, so good, man. This kit has. Outperformed my expectations for sure. 
caught just as many fish as I would have with higher end lures like Rapala and Kitex and stuff like that. See the action in the swim bait. Look at that. Nice action in that swim bait. Alrighty guys, so we have changed spots. Um, right now back in the cove that I started out this morning. And we're going to try to catch some fish. I'm going to throw around this swim bait for a little bit. See if I can catch a fish on that. Because that's the only bait I've yet to complete. Caught a bunch of fish. Oh, I haven't caught a ton of fish on the spinner. But I caught some fish on the spinner. Caught a bunch on the jerk bait. So, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to see if we can catch a fish. This little swim bait. I think I can do it. In fact, I know I can do it. Got him. That was sick. Oh, yo, he got off. That was the sickest thing ever. That pickerel followed it, and I watched him eat it. Oh, my gosh, he just got off. I got my heart racing. Well, I have not landed a fish yet, but I don't know. Would you guys count that? I don't think it counts. I think we need to still fish. I got one more hour. Let's see if we can make it happen. I'm gonna catch a fish on this. Not leaving here today till I catch a fish on this. It'd be more awesome if I caught a bass. If I caught a bass on this, I'd flip. Oh, fish just missed it, fish just missed it. He's after, he's after, he's after, he's after. Got him. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, I saw him miss it and then he followed it and ate it. Damn it. You guys see how fast I'm going? I'm going at the highest speed this trolling mark can get. Now I'm not going anywhere. There's a launch. I might get stranded out here, man. I'm hardly moving. Alright, you guys, so here's the situation that I'm right now in. Oh, crap. Uh, my trolling motor is dead. The launch is right there. And I'm right now on the bank near the launch. What I have to try and do is try to pull myself with all these like little sticks on the shore. I'm to try to make my way there. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Alrighty guys, I made it. Got the boat at the launch. That was scary. I was I was all the way like over there. And my trolling motor pretty much gave up on me. It was going at not even at a one speed. And you guys can see there's some chop on the water. I mean it's windy out there. It's not terrible wind. I mean if I had a full battery, I would have no problem with this wind. But like if you have no battery, you're kind of in trouble. I got lucky that I was able to get over there and then from there I got on the shore and was able to drag myself with like the the grasses and stuff and drag myself to the launch. Otherwise I'd been screwed, I'd been stranded out here. So potentially bad situation averted. Um I got back in, got all my gear here. I'm gonna end the video here guys. I've been out for about five hours I guess. I think it's close to three so that ye yeah, it'd be about five hours. Um, caught a bunch of fish in that jerk bait. Really great bait. I'm really surprised by it. Also, the spinners, man. Great stuff. Was not able to catch a fish on the swim bait. It got action, though. So, it proves it works. Which, I guess, is the point of this video. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to leave links to these kits that you see in the description below. Well worth the money. So much diversity in the boxes. You get a variety of stuff. And they catch fish, man. They work great. Super impressed with lure kits. Shout out to Pulsino Fishing for sponsoring this video. Um, and yeah, guys, that's about it. I'm going to pack up the boat, and that's the end of this video. Also, guys, before I sign out, I just want to let you know, this is probably the last time you'll see this boat. Um, for those of you who do not know, which none of you do know, I am selling my boat. It's probably the last time I'll use it. Um, I'm selling it because I'm going to end up getting a 
really nice fishing kayak like a really high-end fishing kayak so it's the last time you see this boat she's been a fantastic boat um had her for about almost two years now and eventually i probably will get another boat but for right now i'm not going to i'm just going to have my one kayak that i use in both salt water and fresh water and also i'm selling my um old kayak my sun dolphin you guys have seen me use that a lot in the summer um but yeah guys it's gonna end the video hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one